Now that we have like 1,500 different skins, over 1,300 different pickaxes, and over 500 different backblings in Fortnite, there are just way too many items to keep track of, and it can be really hard to find the 50 best items in the game. But today, guys, I'm going to show you the 50 most tryhard items in Fortnite. This list is going to include some tryhard items, some very, very underrated items as well, and just some of the best items that I always recommend you Fortnite players to buy. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know which item you own in the comments down below. Also, guys, if you are excited for Chapter 5 of Fortnite, make sure to go down, and hit the like button and the subscribe button as well. But let's get straight into it. And first off, we have the Studded Axe. This is definitely one of the more OG items on this list. It was first introduced back during Chapter 1, Season 8. So it definitely has been in Fortnite for quite a while. Since we have just been in Season OG, though, a lot of people started using some of these OG items again. And we did start to see the Studded Axe reappearing in the store quite often. But only 800 V-Bucks is... It is so worth it. I think this is known as one of the quietest pickaxes in the history of the game, which is why it is so tryhard. A lot of tryhards and sweats want to use pickaxes that don't really make too much sound and don't really draw too much attention to them. So this is definitely the perfect one. You can pair this with pretty much every single skin in the game. And one skin that this is definitely going to work with is the OG Black Widow, which just got added back to Fortnite. We actually hadn't seen this skin in over 1,660 days. So now that it is finally here, it definitely does not disappoint. I never really talk about this too much on the channel before because it is such a rare skin. I mean, it really only featured in the store once back during Chapter 1, Season 8. And since all the other Marvel skins do return to the store quite often, it was just so hard to ever see this coming back after it hadn't reappeared in like four years. I'm still a huge fan of this though. I love the way this skin looks. And we also need to mention the Snowsuit Black Widow as well because this looks very, very similar. I like both of these skins skins a bunch. I don't think any of them are really more tryhard than the other one. The OG one is just slightly better because it is more rare, but I still think both of these skins are worth using today. However, the OG Black Widow is quite expensive, coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, so if you do want to spend your money a little bit better on a cheaper skin, then one I would recommend is the Chaos Explorer. This is an 800 V-Bucks skin in Fortnite. It is basically a remake of the Chaos Agent that we saw back during Chapter 2, Season 1, and this just looks so, so clean. I love the way this skin looks, it would have to be one of the most underrated skins in the game as well. And with a lot of people preferring to use female skins in Fortnite, I feel like this definitely does get overlooked. I'm a huge fan of this though. I have always loved the Chaos Agent style skins. I think the double Chaos Agent used to be my favorite, but now that we do have the Chaos Explorer, this is the one that I've been using the most. But let's move forward though, guys, to our next skin, and this is the Arctic Assassin. The Arctic Assassin has been one of the most iconic Fortnite skins in the history of the game. You could first get the skin back during chapter one season one so it has literally been in fortnite since the very beginning and i just think that makes this skin even better it has been try hard in the past but i think just because it has been in fortnite for like four or five years now so many people use this when it first got added that they just want to use some different skins in the game i still really like this so if you guys are looking for an og skin to use that not many other people really seem to be using anymore then this is definitely one of them i do understand though that sometimes people don't want to buy these og skins just because they have been in fortnite for so long. So if you are looking for a newer skin, then the Domino is going to be a really good choice. Not only is this also extremely underrated, we hardly see anyone using this in the normal game modes of Fortnite and of course the competitive game modes as well. I love the way this skin looks though. It is a Marvel collab skin, but it doesn't really look like the rest of the Marvel items. It has a really simplistic design. It just looks so, so sick. It is going to make you guys stand out a lot, which in my opinion just makes this even better. I've been using this a bunch and even though I feel like not too many people really know this exists, it would have to be one of my favorite Marvel skins that we have ever seen. A lot of the Marvel skins do seem to feature in the store like every few months as well, so if you don't already have this, you'll probably only have to wait a few more weeks in order for it to be in the store again. One item that might never return though is Megumi's Sword. This is an anime-themed pickaxe that was added to the game with the latest Jujutsu Kaisen collab. The Jujutsu Kaisen collab has been one of the more popular anime collabs in Fortnite. I don't think it has necessarily been the best or the most popular one, but it is definitely definitely one of the coolest and added in a bunch of brand new items like we had never seen before. I was a huge fan of this. I think all of these skins were really cool and the Megumi skin was also really underrated, but Megumi sword for a pickaxe is so clean and definitely one item that a lot more people need to be using. It is really simplistic. It is also one of the smallest pickaxes in the game and it is 
pretty much going to fit in with every single skin in your locker because it does basically only have one color to it. You could even use this pickaxe with our next skin, and this is the Bright Bomber. The Bright Bomber is pretty similar to the Arctic Assassin in the fact that this is one of the most OG skins in the game and also one of the most iconic ones as well. This was added to Fortnite back during Chapter 1, Season 1. A bunch of pros and streamers were using that during the very first season of Fortnite to the point where this was one of the first ever tryhard skins that we did have in the game. Since we have just been in Season OG, I feel like it was definitely worth including this skin on the list again. A bunch of pros and streamers like Ninja started using this skin once again. He even got a locker bundle with this skin included with it, and that just helped this become even more popular. I never really owned this during Chapter 1. I only bought it a few weeks ago, but I can tell you guys right now, it is still a really cool skin and something that could become tryhard in the future. If you guys do want to use this in a tryhard combo though, you could always pair it with something like Leon's Combat Knife. This is a 500 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite, so it is literally one of the cheapest pickaxes in the game, but what makes this so tryhard is the fact that this is extremely small. Yes guys, a lot of pros and streamers want to use some of the smallest items in the game, and this fits that perfectly. It is so, so small. I think it is impossible for Fortnite to make a pickaxe that is smaller than this, but I still really like the way it looks and think it deserves to be a lot more popular today. A lot of collab items from some of the other franchises like Marvel seem to reappear in the store about every single month, but the Gaming Legends series are a little bit more random and it could be months or even years before this features in the store again. Something that will feature in the store very, very soon though is going to be Manic. This is an 800 V-Bucks skin in Fortnite that was a Chapter 1 OG skin and became extremely tryhard, especially during chapter two. We saw a bunch of pros and streamers meeting this. It was one of the most iconic Fortnite skins of all time. And back during chapter two, this is probably the most tryhard skin in the game, especially during season one and the start of season two. I feel like over the last few seasons though, a lot of people have started to use some of the newer items in the game. And unfortunately, Manic was just one of those skins that sort of got forgot about. I really like this though. And Fortnite obviously cares a lot about this skin as well, because we have seen a bunch of edits styles being added for this over the last few seasons. We started off with just one default style, we then got two styles added during chapter two, and at the start of chapter three, we got a brand new green edit style, which in my opinion is the best one. I just think this looks so clean. I am a huge fan of this, and hopefully it does gain some popularity back in the future. One skin that probably won't get too much more popular though is going to be Padme. Padme is a Star Wars collab item. It was one of the latest Star Wars skins to be added to the game, and honestly, I never thought this was going to be added. We had just had so many Star Wars items in Fortnite that I feel like Padme was one of those forgotten ones, but it finally got added and it did not disappoint. It is so, so clean. I love the way this looks so, so much and I've actually seen a few pros and streamers using it as well. The X2 twins have actually been using this a bunch during Season OG, so hopefully that does stay the same for Chapter 5, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I was always going to love this skin, but if you do just want to use a normal Fortnite skin, then I feel like the Skull Drifter is a really good choice. This is basically a mix-up of the Skull Trooper and the Drift skin, two of the most iconic Fortnite skins we have ever seen. We have had a bunch of amazing Fortnite skins added to the game during Season OG, but the Skull Drifter is definitely one of the more underrated ones. You can actually buy this in the Infinite Drift bundle. It did set you back around $15, but I think it was really worth it. I love the way this looks. The other skins in this bundle probably weren't as cool as this, and because it wasn't really in the item shop for that long, I feel like a lot of people didn't have the opportunity to buy it. Hopefully it does reappear soon though. I love this bundle so, so much, and it would definitely be one of my favorite bundles we have seen. You can use a bunch of different pickaxes with this though, but I ended up using this with something like the driver. This is a 500 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite. It is one of the most iconic pickaxes in the game as well, because it has been one of the most tryhard pickaxes in the game, especially when it first got added. We saw this in Fortnite during Chapter 1, Season 5. It does only have one different style, but honestly, I feel like that makes this even better. Because it is so simplistic with just one style and basically one color on it, you can use it with every single skin in your locker. It does doesn't matter what skin it is, if it is Siren, the superhero skins, or even Thanos, this is going to fit it really well and definitely make it a try-hard combo. More often than not though, we did see people using this with something like Aura. Aura is an extremely try-hard skin in Fortnite, but what makes this so unique is that it really fits every single playstyle in Fortnite. If you are a try-hard player, then Aura is going to be a skin that you absolutely love, but if you are a casual player or even a noob at Fortnite, chances are you're going to like this skin as well. It was actually a fan-made design skin
skin, which makes this even better. We have only had three styles for this skin. We had two styles when it first got added, and then they decided to add in a green and gold style, which does look really cool. And I feel like Fortnite will even add more in the future. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number 37 position, and we have the Candy Axe. The Candy Axe is one of the most expensive pickaxes in the game, and this is coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks. It is literally one of the most expensive pickaxes I think we have ever seen. I have no idea why this was so expensive, but I still think it is one of the coolest pickaxes as well. We did get the Merry Mint added a few seasons later, but this should have been an edit style for this, so I don't know why Fortnite didn't do that, but it is still a really good pickaxe on its own, and I hope you guys do end up buying it. Obviously, there are better ways to spend your V-Bucks because I feel like this is so expensive for a pickaxe, and you could always end up buying something like the brand new Lewis Hamilton skin, which is the latest addition to the Icon series. The Icon series is truly amazing. We have seen some really cool items being added to this, and Lewis Hamilton is the latest one in Fortnite. Now, we do have a few different skins for this. He has sort of a robotic edit style, and then, of course, a normal Lewis Hamilton skin as well. I feel like the default skin is going to be the best. This looks really unique and is going to make you guys stand out a lot. And if you are a fan of Lewis Hamilton or the F1, then I'm sure you guys already own this skin. I don't know how tryhard this is going to become in the future. Some icon skins become extremely tryhard and some never really seem to get the popularity that they deserve. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But one skin that definitely has been tryhard is Focus. Focus was added to the game during Chapter 1, Season 8. We got a bunch of amazing skins added during this season, but Focus is one of the best. You can actually pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks as well, and this was one of the first skins in Fortnite that was known as a controller-only skin. The story behind this is that back during Chapter 2, during a lot of Fortnite tournaments, a lot of pros and streamers were actually using Focus, but most of them ended up being controller players. We didn't really see too many keyboard and mouse players using this. I have no idea why that happened, but I feel like that has now changed, and we do just see a bunch of different players using this skin. Let's move forward, though, guys, to the number 34 position, and we have the Vault Guardian. The Vault Guardian is one of the newest pickaxes on this list. I feel like I've already talked about this on my channel quite a few times, but it is such an amazing design. We've seen a bunch of crowbar-style pickaxes being added to the game, but the Vault Guardian is still my favorite. I love the way this looks. It is just so, so good, and is going to fit in with every single skin in your locker as well. Usually, a lot of these pickaxes do fit in with a bunch of your favorite skins, but I still think the Vault Guardian is my favorite, and definitely something you guys should be using today. You could also unlock this for free, which just made it even better. But unfortunately, now that promotion has ended and you just have to buy this pickaxe like every other pickaxe in the game. Okay, that's enough talking about that. Let's move on to our next item, guys. And this is Kuno. Kuno is definitely one of my favorite skins in the history of Fortnite. We have seen some truly amazing skins being added. And I feel like a lot of them actually came during chapter one. Kuno is no exception, though. It is such an amazing skin. And this was also known as a controller-only skin. I feel like that has now changed. We see a lot of PC players using this, but it has just been in Fortnite for so long now that a lot of people are starting to use some of the newer items. We do have a default style, and then, of course, a Blizzard Buster Kuno style that was added a few seasons later. I think the Blizzard Buster Kuno is a little bit more popular and tryhard, but make sure to let me know in the comments down below which style is your favorite. We need to move on, though, to one of the biggest meme pickaxes in the game, and this is the Giant Nutcracker. This is actually added to Fortnite with the future Futurama crossover a few seasons ago, and this is a crossover I never expected to happen in Fortnite. We've obviously collaborated with so many different franchises, and Futurama was just one of those ones that I thought Fortnite wouldn't really collaborate with. It was really cool when it got added, though. I feel like a lot of these skins never really became that popular, but I have seen quite a few people using some of the pickaxes from this, and the best one has to be the giant Nutcracker. It just looks really cool. It has a really cool animation to it as well, and it is going to fit in with all of your favorite skins, regardless of if they are tryhard or not. But if you only have a few V-Bucks to spend, I feel like you might be better off buying something like the Agency Renegades bundle. We don't really mention too many bundles on this channel anymore, because I feel like bundles are so overlooked in the Fortnite community, but the Agency Renegades bundle is just too good that we had to include it on the list. We did get three skins and a bunch of pickaxes included with this, but the Shady Zadie and the Spycatcher Siren are the only skins you guys need to use. These are basically remakes of Siren and Zadie, already some of the most tryhard skins in the history of the game. So when they do remake these and make them look even better, you know they are going to be extremely tryhard. We do have a bunch of different edit styles for both of
of these skins, which just made them even better, but it was quite expensive coming in at around $20. If you guys have been playing Fortnite since the very beginning though, I'm sure you already own the Elite Agent. This was a Battle Pass skin during Chapter 1 Season 3. You could buy this for only 950 V-Bucks, which made it even better. I love the way this skin looks. We got a bunch of amazing skins and pickaxes added during this season, but the Elite Agent is still popular today, which shows you guys how good this actually was. Fortnite also recognized how good this skin was because they added in an edit style for this a few seasons later. Now, that might not sound so strange, but Fortnite have never really added in edit styles for Battle Pass skins once that season has ended. Usually, they have them as unlockable styles during that Battle Pass. So when this got an edit style like four seasons later, it was so strange and just made this skin even more special. I love the way it looks and I still see a bunch of people using this in the more competitive game modes, but we need to move on guys. And next up is the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap is one of the best pickaxes in the game. It was also introduced with Clix's Locker Bundle a few seasons ago, which brought the popularity of this to levels I never really thought it would actually reach. It has been in Fortnite for quite a while. We saw Clix using it a lot during Chapter 1, but it died off really, really quickly. But since he did include this in his Locker Bundle, I feel like it is now at the point where it is one of the more popular pickaxes in the game. You can pair this with a bunch of different skins, but there are probably some skins that this won't work too well with, and one of them is the Sun Strider. This is just one of those more detailed skins, and it was also a Battle Pass skin from Chapter 1. The Cold Snap is predominantly blue in color, and with the Sun Strider being mostly red, I just feel like these colors won't match up too perfectly. You can always give this a go and let me know in the comments down below what you think of it, but there are definitely going to be some better items that work with this skin, and we are actually going to be mentioning them very, very soon. I'm still a huge fan of this skin, though. I really like the way it looks, and since we just had Season OG, a lot of people have been using this once again. That takes us though to the number 27 position, guys, and let's talk about Sora. This is one of the newer skins in the game. It was added at the start of Season OG, and like we saw with a bunch of different skins, this is a mashup of the Rex skin and Aura. I really like the way this looks. I think it was such a cool idea to mix up Aura and Rex. These are some of the most OG skins in the game that are very iconic in the Fortnite community as well. I knew that Rex was one of the first ever skins I had in my locker, so I just was so excited to buy this, and it seems like a lot of people were excited as well. Hopefully, it does get the popularity that it deserves in the future, but honestly, I don't think it's going to become as tryhard as I think it should be. You could also make this even more popular by pairing it with something like the Rainbow Clover. We haven't really mentioned too many backblings on this list just yet, and I feel like backblings have definitely died off a lot in Fortnite, but one that I still see people using has to be the Rainbow Clover. This is one of the most tryhard items in the game. It's unfortunate, though, because the skin that came with this probably wasn't one of the better skins in the game, and that is why we just don't see the popularity for the Rainbow Clover that I feel like a lot of people expected it to be. A lot of people did end up pairing this with something like Siren, though, which has been one of the most tryhard skins in the history of the game. It's probably unlucky to be coming in this low on this list. It was featured in at number one or number two in a bunch of my videos for like two years straight because of how good this actually was, but I feel like now that Benji Fishy has pretty much quit Fortnite entirely, the popularity is starting to drop off for this skin. It is still really good though, I'm a huge fan of this, and you can pick it up for just 1,200 V-Bucks, which makes it even better. It has been in the game for such a long time though, so let's move on to one of the newer skins, and this is Invincible. Invincible was part of the latest collaboration with the Invincible show. This is one of the coolest animes I think people have ever watched. A lot of people are absolutely loving it, and it was really cool to see this being added to Fortnite. This is a collaboration no one really expected. It was really cool to see this in the files and know that this is coming to the game because I love the way these skins look. I just thought they were so creative, so unique as well, and these definitely have the potential to be some of the more popular anime skins we have in Fortnite. It's going to be interesting to see as we move into Chapter 5 how many people continue to use these skins though, but I feel like one pickaxe that will be popular in Chapter 5 is going to be Steve's Bat. This is added to the game with a Stranger Things collaboration during Chapter 4 Season 5. Stranger Things is just one of the best Netflix shows we have ever seen, so it makes sense that their Fortnite items are also extremely popular. We had Chief Hopper and the Demogorgon added during Chapter 1. Not that many people bought this though because it only featured in the store once, so when we got Steve's Bat added back, I feel like a lot of people ended up buying it because they were also afraid that this would feature in the store once and never return again. Another skin that was added with this collab though is Eleven. This is such an amazing skin. It was the only skin added with this collaboration though, which was a little bit strange to me. I feel like they definitely could have added in some other skins as 
well, but this is still a really cool crossover, and I'm a huge fan of the way this looks. With Eleven, we have three different styles. We have a default style of her wearing normal clothes. We then have two edit styles where it looks like she's been in a lab or in a test lab jumpsuit, which is really cool, and this is probably the style I've seen more tryhards using. If you are just a fan of the show, though, I feel like the default style is going to work best for you. But let's move forward, though, guys, to a skin that has been extremely tryhard, and this is Travis Scott. Travis Scott is definitely one of the most tryhard skins we are ever going to see, similar to a lot of the Stranger Things items as well. This only ever featured in the item shop once. We saw this when the Travis Scott concert was in Fortnite back during Chapter 2, Season 2. No one realized how rare this was going to become, though, so it is now one of the most iconic skins in the game and still one of the most tryhard ones as well. A lot of the Icon Series items never got the popularity or tryhard status that they deserved, but Travis Scott definitely did. Another skin that has also been extremely tryhard though has to be the Surf Witch. I love the way this skin looks. It has been tryhard ever since it was added to the game, and a lot of people don't know this, but this was actually a remake of the Haze skin. Haze was a Fortnite Mare skin that was added during Chapter 1, but it never really was that popular, so when Fortnite added the Surf Witch, this was definitely a much better design and is now one of the best skins in the game. I love the way this looks. It has been so, so tryhard, and it's just going to be very, very tryhard for the future as well. I would love to see some more styles for this being added, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because it seems like Fortnite are too focused on adding in brand new styles for the Scarlet Trooper. That was definitely a joke, but over the last few years, we have seen so many edit styles for the Scarlet Trooper being added to the game. We have the default style that was in Fortnite during Chapter 1 Season 1. We then got a purple edit style added a few seasons later when this reappeared in the store. We got a green edit style and a golden edit style for this as well and then they added in an edit style where the colors were reversed, which is just so, so sick. We've had so many different styles for this, but if you guys do own the Purple Skull Trooper, that is the one that you want to be using. This is the rarest skin pretty much in the history of the game, and people were spending thousands of dollars just to get this skin. I feel like people also spent a lot of money to get our next skin, which is the Psycho Bandit. Yes, guys, the Psycho Bandit has also been one of the rarest skins in the history of Fortnite. You did have to pay around $40 in order to get this because you had to buy a brand new Borderlands game in order to get a code for this skin. I love the way this looks though. I think it is such an amazing skin and I'm really jealous that I never ended up buying it. I was playing Fortnite during the time. I remember the Borderlands collab was so, so sick and for whatever reason, I just thought it would never get the popularity that it deserved and this probably wouldn't become a tryhard skin. But here we are like four years later and this is one skin that I wish I had have bought. There are a bunch of other skins that I wish I bought though, but one item that I did actually end up buying back during chapter one is the trusty number two. Yes, guys, I did end up buying the chapter one season three battle pass, and that included one of the best pickaxes of all time, which is the trusty number two. I love the way this looks. It has been such an amazing pickaxe, and it is still really popular today, which just shows you guys how good this actually is. A lot of people do end up using this with skins like the Reaper, though, because it is just so iconic, and that is the skin that we are including in at the number 16 position. I think this is an incredible skin. It was basically a John Wick skin before we had a John Wick skin in Fortnite, and that just made it even cooler. I feel like if you ask a lot of Fortnite OGs, though, this is still considered the John Wick skin, and the official John Wick skin just doesn't exist to most people. The official John Wick skin never really got the popularity that it deserved, but this definitely did. It has been one of the most popular skins in the history of Fortnite, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I mean, the fact that this was in Fortnite like four years ago, and it's still really popular today, Today just shows you guys how good this actually is. But we need to move on, guys, to our next item, and this is the Harley Hitter. This is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite that was introduced at the start of Chapter 2. You could literally get this during Chapter 2 Season 1, pretty much as soon as it started, because the Harley Quinn skin was almost added instantly to that season. I love the way this looks, though. I think the Harley Hitter has to be one of my most used pickaxes. It has just been so, so good, but what makes this even better is that you can use this with every single skin in your locker. It doesn't matter whether it's a tryhard skin or not, I still feel like it looks really, really good, and that is just what I love about this pickaxe. Let's move forward, though, guys, to the number 14 position, and we have Lara Croft. Lara Croft is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list. It has been one of the most iconic and tryhard skins we've seen over the last few seasons, but it is definitely starting to drop off a little bit. It was actually a Battle Pass skin during Chapter 2, Season 6. So many people love the way this looked, and what made this really unique is that a lot of Battle Pass skins do die down after they've been in 
Fortnite for one season. Pretty much as soon as new Battle Pass skins get introduced, the old ones stop being popular, but Lara Croft seemed to work in reverse. This actually got more popular the longer it has been in Fortnite, which is so strange. I don't even know how this makes sense because it was only available during that season and it will never be available again. So I feel like the fact that this is just such a clean skin and is still being used like three years later shows you guys how good this actually is. Let's move forward though guys to one of the best backlings in Fortnite and this is the Power Pack. We've seen some truly amazing backlings added to the game, but none of them really stay popular in Fortnite, especially today. But one of my favorite ones would have to be the Power Pack. This was obviously the backbling that was designed for Lachlan. He is one of the most iconic Fortnite YouTubers in the world that has over 15 million subscribers. So it makes sense that his icon series items were really good as well. His skin was actually quite popular, but I feel like the backbling is the most iconic item from this set. We still see a bunch of people using it today. And even if you are in power as well, then this is a backbling you have been using every single day because it's what all the other power players actually use. I love the way this looks though. I still use it from time to time because I think it looks really clean. And if you do come across someone using this back bling, chances are they are going to be try hard at Fortnite. But let's move forward though guys to the number 12 position and we have Michael Myers. Michael Myers is one of my favorite all time skins. This is one of the best collab skins we've seen in the game as well. It was actually rumored a few years ago, but we never saw this being added. So when it finally got added to the game, it was extremely popular. I feel like I expected this to be quite try hard as well, but it probably hasn't got that popularity in the competitive game modes that I expected it to have. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens in the future. Along with this, because it is a Fortnite Mare skin, it might not get the popularity that it deserved because it just might not feature in the store that often. I mean, we've seen some other amazing collab skins being added to Fortnite that only really feature in the store once or twice. So if you guys didn't end up buying this when it first got added, you might have to wait a year or even longer to be able to get this again. Hopefully that isn't the case though, because I think this is such an amazing skin, but we need to move on guys to the next item. And this is the ice breaker. This is definitely going to feature in the store again. It'll probably be in the store as you guys are watching this video, because it feels like it features in the store every single week. It is a 500 V buck pickaxe. So it is extremely cheap and it is going to work in with all of your favorite skins as well. I feel like there are some skins that do look better with this than others, but this is still going to work with all of your favorite skins, regardless of if they are try hard or not. We've seen so many pros and streamers using this over the past few years as well. And since it is one of the most iconic items in the history of the game, we just had to include it on this list. We've actually seen a bunch of people using this with Caper. Caper is one of the newest skins in the game, and it is also one of the newest highly customizable skins that we do have as well. There are some amazing highly customizable skins in Fortnite, but Caper is really unique and takes this to a whole nother level. What is really cool about this is that not only can you change around the colors of this and the design of this skin, but you can also add your own stickers and emojis to this, which just makes it even more unique. I feel like if it was similar to the superhero skins, it would be popular and try hard, but it probably wouldn't be as creative as what it is now, which is why I have been such a huge fan of this skin. If you are looking for a really good pickaxe to use with this as well, then I feel like the slasher is the perfect choice. This was the pickaxe that was designed for the Michael Myers skin. So similar to Michael Myers, if you guys didn't buy this when it was first in the store, you might have to wait a really long time in order to get it again. It is definitely one of my favorite pickaxes in the game right now, though. It is so simplistic. It is really, really small as well, and it is going to fit in with all of your favorite skins. There are definitely some pickaxes that I prefer over this, but over the last few weeks, I've been loving this so, so much and cannot recommend this pickaxe more. There is another pickaxe though that is just slightly better. That is also a Fortnite Mares item, and this has to be the Reaper. Yes, guys, the Reaper is definitely one of my favorite pickaxes of all time. This has been extremely try hard in Fortnite, and it has also been extremely popular, but this could have actually been the rarest pickaxe in the history of the game. This was added back to Fortnite during Chapter 1, Season 1 with the first ever Fortnite Mares update. We never really saw too many people using this back then because it was so rare and no one was really spending money on Fortnite after it had only been out for a few weeks. But unfortunately, Fortnite decided to add this back to the store one year later and this just sort of ruined how rare and exclusive this item was. They could have added in an edit style to keep this rare as well, similar to what they did with the Pink Gold Trooper and the Purple Skull Trooper, but unfortunately it has been in the game now for like five or six years and that still hasn't happened. I feel like we've talked a lot about some OG items though, so let's move on to one of the newest items and this is Omni.
Omni-Man. Yes, guys, Omni-Man is also part of the latest anime collab, and this is with the Invincible franchise. I love the way this skin looks. This is going to be one of the best anime skins we ever see being added to Fortnite. I just think it's so iconic. There are some amazing anime skins in Fortnite, but it's really hard to find one that is better than Omni-Man. I feel like this does have the potential to be quite popular as well. I have no idea how try hard this is going to be in the future, but I still really like the way it looks, and hopefully you guys do as well. If you guys are going to be using this during chapter 5, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But that takes us four guys to the number 6 position, and we have the Star Wand. Yes guys, the Star Wand is definitely one of the most tryhard items in the history of the game. So many people have been using this since it was first added, and you can buy this for only 800 V-Bucks. I'm really surprised we haven't seen more edit styles for this being added. We did get a second pickaxe that looks pretty identical to this, added to the game known as the Scully Scepter, but since then we haven't seen anything else being added. I love the way this looks, it is always going to be known as a tryhard pickaxe, and I feel like that is never going to change anytime soon, so we may as well just move on to our next item guys, and this is all of the shields, back blings in Fortnite. Yes guys, since we have just been in Season OG, a lot of people are starting to use back blings again, and the most common one seems to be all of the shield back blings that we do have. Since I feel like a lot of people do own shield back blings, they just seem to be the easiest ones to use. I love the way these look though, I think they are so so sick, and we just have so many different shields now in Fortnite that I'm sure a lot of you guys do own these items. I feel like the black shield or the red shield are my two favorites, so I've actually been using the red shield quite a bit, and I can tell you guys right now, this is definitely one of the best backlinks to use in Chapter 5. Let's move forward though to the number 4 position, and we have the superhero skins. These are probably unlucky to not be finishing up even higher on this list. It is one of the most tryhard skins we are ever going to see, and you could pick these up for 1,800 V-Bucks. They are actually one of the more expensive skins on this list, but it is for a very good reason. They have more customization than pretty much any other skin in the history of the game. They look so, so clean. We have seen a bunch of pros and sweats using them, and of course, tryhard players using them as well. And I guarantee you guys, if you ever play a ranked game of Fortnite, chances are you're going to see at least half the lobby using these skins. Most people do end up using the fully gray or the fully black edit style though. So if you guys do want to stand out using these skins, I highly recommend creating a unique unique edit style, and I have a bunch of videos on my channel helping you create some unique styles for these skins. But that takes us to the number three position, and we have to talk about one of the most recent skins added to Fortnite, and this is the Renegade Lynx. The Renegade Lynx was part of the Season OG Pass, and this is a mashup of the Renegade Raider and the Lynx skin, two of the most iconic Fortnite skins in the game. I love both of these, I think these skins were so, so good, so when Fortnite decided to mash up these skins and add them in the Season OG Pass, I knew I had to buy it straight away. What is even better about this though is the fully golden edit style that you can unlock as a super style makes this even better. I think it looks so, so good and just adds even more detail to an already amazing skin. It probably isn't the best skin from this season OG pass, but before we talk about that guys, we need to move on to the best pickaxe and this is the Leviathan Axe. This does set you back a thousand V-Bucks, so it is one of the more expensive pickaxes in the game, but I feel like it is so worth buying. This is one of those gaming legends items that is only featured in the store once and we haven't actually seen it since chapter 2 season 5. This was known as the crossover season. We got so many items added to the game during this season that I feel like the Leviathan Axe might have been overlooked by a few players but if you were lucky enough to buy it like me then you know how good this actually is. So many pros and streamers have been using it as well. It just looks so so good and is going to make every single skin in your locker look even more tryhard. But finally guys we need to talk about the sweatiest and most tryhard item in Fortnite right now, and this is the Spectra Knight. I'm sure this is going to change throughout Chapter 5 because we will see so many other amazing items being added to the game, but the Spectra Knight has to be one of the best skins available right now. It was part of the Season OG Pass, so you could be up 950 V-Bucks, and it is basically a collaboration and a mashup of all of the Knight skins in the game. This includes the Black Knight, the Red Knight, the Rogue Squire skins from the Chapter 1 Season 2 Battle Pass. This includes the Spider Knight, the Ultimate Knight as well, and the Dark Red Knight. So pretty much all of the most iconic Fortnite skins were included all together with this. It also has a bunch of different customizations, which just makes this even better. We're going to see some amazing edit styles for this over the next few years, so I cannot wait to see what people come up with. But there you guys go. That is my list for the 50 most tryhard items in Fortnite right now that you guys need to own. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite.
favorites and also make sure to click the video on your screen now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all next time